Hello, in this video I will show you how to set up your graphics tablets to use in Blender 2.8 and 2.79. It's worth mentioning that I use a graphics tablet for sculpting and texture painting, but I use a mouse for everything else. If you want to look at my recommendations for graphics tablets, I'll put a card in the corner now and the links will be in the description. Also at the end of this video I'll take you through some problem solving. So first let's assume that you can't change any buttons on your graphics tablet or that maybe you haven't got a graphics tablet with buttons for some reason. Then you will need to, in Blender 2.8, go up to Edit, Preferences, and then under the Input section here, choose Emulate 3 Button Mouse. So make sure that is selected. Then save your preferences and close the window. Now the Alt button is doing the same thing as middle mouse button. So if I hold down Alt and start drawing, you can see I'm moving around my image. If I hold down Alt then Control and move up and down with my pen, I zoom in and out and Alt and Shift will strafe. In Blender 2.79, it's slightly different. You go to File, User Preferences, and then the Input tab is at the top and emulate three button mouse is just here. Make sure you save your user preferences, close down, Alt and draw, we'll move around, Alt and control, zoom in and out, and Alt and shift will strafe. Now if you are able to change your buttons of your pen, then there's one major button that I would suggest changing, and that is the first pen button. Many pens have two buttons, and if you can get used to using that button on your pen, the first one here, then I would change it to middle click and you should be able to go into these settings and choose either keyboard commands or clicks here. So clicks are mouse clicks and then just change it to middle click. For Blender 2.79 it's handy to have the other button as right click so you can select objects. But in Blender 2.8 we have left click so you can just tap on objects and you've clicked them and selected them. So you may want to use that button for something else. Many graphics tablets have an option where you can choose the specific program and then change options for it. At the moment I'm in Blender and that will be a middle click. I can choose other programs, let's say Photoshop or something, and change that to the spacebar. And then I can click with this button and move around my canvas. Generally speaking in Blender, the only one I change though is that one, because I have the keyboard next to me. The other thing that's important when you have a graphics tablet is making sure the pen pressure is working and using the pen pressure. So here on this ball, I can brush lightly, and you can see it's creating a light stroke, and hard, it creates a deeper stroke. And that's because I have my strength set to pen pressure, which is the button right at the end there. If I set my radius as well, I can lightly press, and then go out to hard, and you can see the impact that's having. So it affects my radius and my pen pressure. And that can be really helpful to just lightly press and bring objects out or firmly press and bring more shape out. The same for the amount of ink coming out of your pen when you're texture painting. So using these buttons at the end here can be extremely helpful. So the last thing to point out is problem solving. If you test these things and they're not working, it could be, firstly, your graphics tablet drivers aren't up to date, so make sure you go to the website and download the latest drivers. Secondly, are you using the latest version of Blender? Thirdly, are your graphics card drivers up to date? So three things to check there. The last piece of advice I can give is to go onto artist forums and be clear what graphics tablet you're using and there may be other people who've had similar problems who can help you. If it's specific to Blender, then Blender artist. Otherwise, just mention your graphics card and the problem and see what's come up. As new versions of Windows come out or different operating systems, the drivers don't always keep up. And it's really common to have glitches in your graphics card. So hopefully that's enough information for you. Do remember you can get across to my website for courses on painting and sculpting at gabbit.co.uk where all the courses are free. And you can join us on the Discord server. The links are in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.